Hi everyone, my name is Marco Ching. I'm with MSI. I am the BDM for our commercial product line. So think anything from a small nook all the way up to a workstation with a 50 series GPU. And um, for example, that, that workstation has the Jensen Huang signature right yeah. here. Yeah, so we are proud, MSI is proud to be an NVIDIA partner, uh, not only on the component side, but on the commercial system side. Today, we have what we call the Edge Expert, which is based on the NVIDIA DGX Spark platform. This is a AI mini supercomputer that offers up to 1,000 petaflops, 128 gigabytes of unified uh, memory. Uh, this little machine can handle um, uh, models with up to 200 billion parameters. You can cluster two of them together and the memory expands to 256 and the capacity now also expands to 400 billion uh, parameter models. So you talk about petaflops. Petaflops, yes. That's a lot of, that's a lot of horsepower. That's a lot of performance. And yeah. what's happening with the ports here? You connected, right now it's connected? Right and now it's, it's uh, right, running a right, Ubuntu or what? Yeah, right now it's connected. So this is an AI development box um, ready to go. It comes preloaded with the NVIDIA AI software stack. Uh, all you need to do is connect, it, uh, connect the display via HDMI, um, connect the keyboard and a mouse, and you're ready to go. So if you are doing anything with AI, like prototyping, fine tuning, building AI agents, this is the developer tool that you need. How much performance is it? Like, uh it sounds like a lot. Is it um, like if three years ago it would have been unheard of in a little box like this? So the analogy I can give you about performance is, um, Nicholas, if I told you which one goes faster, an F1 race, race car or an SUV, what would you say? F1. Race F1. Car. But then what if I told you, hey, Nicholas, you got to carry five other people in your SUV which one will go faster. So it all depends on the workload. With 128 gigabytes of unified memory on board, um, <clears throat> this uh, helps um, with your AI throughput, um, whereas a 5090 GPU today, sure, it's the F1 racer, <coughs> but it only has 32 gigabytes uh, of memory on board. So it's gonna create a bottleneck. And so this is, um uh, Blackwell GPU, Blackwell GPU and ARM 20 core CPU. Correct. So it's um, is it possible to look inside or not really? No, uh, it's a, there's it's a board. A, in it's there. enclosed. It's enclosed. And so so the beautiful thing about this machine is, in a tr traditional developers when they do AI, they do it up in the cloud, right? So they do the fine tuning, the prototyping, and then send it, send it out to the cloud for deployment. Well, sending, sending your large models up to the cloud is very costly. So what we've done is we've brought this to the desktop. So they can fine tune, um, prototype, and then send that up to the cloud. So here's uh, uh, marketing for this. It's called the Edge Expert. So you wanna develop your AI at the edge directly. On your at, desk. On your desk. Uh, and then you can get the best uh, development platform, because you want to be right there yeah. on it. Yeah, and, and because it's part of the NVIDIA AI ecosystem, once you develop it on the Edge Expert, you can then deploy it into the um, NVIDIA data center without and any code changes. So you do it once, and you set it and forget it. <clears throat> so the data centers also getting the ARM cores Data, uh, from data, data center, yeah, data center is sharing the same. This is based on the Blackwell GB10 architecture, and this is the same GPU architecture uh, that shares the GB200 and GB300 found in data centers. Nice. And, and is this another one? No, this is our traditional QB nook. So think of uh, a PC where we shrunk it down in size. Is this the information about it? Nope. This no. is for the Edge Expert. So, ah, so this is not uh, the same CPU? This is not the same CPU. This uses your traditional Intel CPU. So we have 
good, better, best. So if you're looking for something entry level, let's say you want to run a digital display, all the way up to a Core Ultra uh, uh, series CPU with AI, uh, we offer that in our QB Nook line. And what's this um, Edge AI box here? A the Edge AI box is similar <clears throat> to the Edge Expert, but it has your heavy hit your heavy uh, GPUs. So think of like a 50 series or 40 series GPU. So this box would be traditional more for someone that needs that, that horsepower. Think of someone in the AEC, architectural engineering construction industry, that are looking for uh, the horsepower that they need to run their workloads and applications. So this is with the Intel and everything in there? Correct. And this is just the, this is, this the ARM is solution? Arms, NVIDIA ARM solution, correct. And how many things are happening with this? Like, is this brand new? This or is already some, some users no, this, are how, using it? This is brand new. It just launched on October 15th. And what NVIDIA did is NVIDIA, NVIDIA partnered with select few OEMs like MSI to prototype and bring this to market. Nice. And uh, it's stable already? Like, it doesn't overheat? No. Nope. It's like really good design? You can feel it. Because there's a fan in there? It's fanless, but because we are MSI, we over-engineer the heck out of the thermals. So we have our own um, thermal solution, vapor chamber. You said fanless? Fanless. Fanless, right. And what is this connector here? What do you can connect on this? So this is the direct X cable. So this has an infin <clears throat> InfiniBand NIC on board so that <clears throat> Is it the same there? It's the same unit. So that you can connect two units via a direct X connect cable. And high bandwidth? High bandwidth and, and create your own uh, AI cluster. Wow. So you can create your cluster, get more performance? More performance. So it goes from 128 to 256 unified memory. Instead of, uh, <clears throat> uh, instead of, uh, 200 billion parameter models, they can handle up to 400 billion parameter models. And just to give you a perspective, chat GPT-4 is around 200 billion parameters. So you can run a full chat GPT-4 on your desk, and potentially. Yes. And, and there's more and more models coming out. Some of them can, uh, uh, do, you do you have anything running on this one that's kind of cool to show? It's or? just a demo. It's just a video right now. It's just a video right now. But what NVIDIA has created um, as part of the DGX Spark platform is they created a series of what they call playbooks. And playbooks are AI recipes or templates that anyone can use and customize. So if you wanted to create your own AI agent or chatbot, you can go and download the NVIDIA playbook and, and start putting your data to personalize that chatbot. Is this, uh, is this Edge Expert very expensive? MSRP on a single unit is $4,000. And the two cluster bundle is starts around 8,100. And that includes the Connect X cable, uh, wireless keyboard and mouse. And is there a lot of demand for this? Like you, you, you see a lot of developers very excited about this? Uh, <clears throat> uh, Jensen Huang announced the DGX Spark at CES earlier this year. So a lot of the uh, developers, uh, AI software engineers have been waiting for this machine to come out. And this is just the first one that this you're is, doing in this direction? This is the You could be doing a lot more in the future. Correct. Yeah, this is a, a whole new class of AI computers um, that NVIDIA is planning on, on bringing on board. So <clears throat> not everyone one needs a DGX station. Right? Now yeah, those cost 20, 30, 40, 50,000, exactly, right? Exactly. Versus a $4,000 machine. Yeah. And, and also, the potential is that uh, you, could, you could have everything open source. Yeah, everything's like, open source. The whole thing. Yeah. Everything people need or do, they just find it in the open source. Yep. Yeah. And get more and more things done. Yep, exactly. And deploy one click. Deploy one click. Yep. You, like I said, you uh, <clears throat> prototype it, fine tune it on your desktop, and then deploy it up to the cloud when you're ready. I guess there's some very advanced AI development 
companies that just want to have one on each desk yeah. for all their engineers. Yeah, it's going to happen, right? Yeah. I, let me tell you about a great use case. Uh, <clears throat> some of my colleagues were at a recent uh, education show, and IT managers and directors came up to, to us and said, we're thinking of building a chatbot for students, but we don't want to put all of the student information up in the cloud. We want to keep it within our own school district networks and protect that. So this would be a great tool to develop an on-prem solu AI solution. So this is very high performance edge AI. Very much so. One of the highest maybe in this size in the whole and, world? And for right now, yes. Right. HDMI technology powers the global ecosystem of connected devices, enabling advanced displays that deliver immersive visuals and sound across entertainment, professional, and everyday applications. As the preferred technology for digital AV connectivity, HDMI technology and the features and benefits it enables links billions of products worldwide, from HDTVs, set-top boxes, and laptop to gaming consoles, projectors, and audio-video receivers. It provides the reliable, high-bandwidth connectivity needed for today's ultra-high-definition video, lifelike color accuracy, and immersive sound formats. HDMI technology drives innovation across industries, including digital signage, medical imaging, education, and esports. With unmatched performance, interoperability, and scalability, HDMI technology continues to define how content is created, shared, and enjoyed around the world.